Hi everyone, welcome back. For today's Manny, we're going to be using three colors from Bling Galleria to create a sparkly Manny. The first color here, it's Purple People Eater, and it is such a gorgeous glitter. You can see here it has those waffle hexagon shaped glitters, and then there's purples, teals, pinks, there's even a pop of red. And then Malachite is just a beautiful uh, dark teal color, and then it's going to pair perfectly with Night Sprites, which is this bright vibrant purple and it also glows in the dark we are making a set of press ons today and we're going to start out by using dip liquids and we're going to go ahead and right into that beautiful purple here so you will see here that when i am dipping into this purple that that first coat it gives it this really cool effect it almost looks like a jelly effect but it's really pretty with that sheer purple coverage but i love how this color builds up and i'm only going to do two dips today with this beautiful purple and the glow of this dip is unreal. I'll link a picture right here so you can see that glow that I'm talking about. But it is really pretty and the glow lasts a super long time. I did wear this Manny after I took pictures. I wore it for about a day because I do make press-ons and I use those sticky tabs. And it was still glowing when I got up um, at like 5.30 in the morning. I noticed that it was still glowing and I was like, wow, this glow is awesome. I mean, it wasn't as vibrant as it was like when you just, you know, take it out of your UV lamp or if you're in the sun, it, but it definitely was glowing. So I still, I love glows and I think that Manny's that glow just have like that extra funness to them. I don't know, I'm all about those glows, but there are tons of other options for this Manny too. So we're gonna talk about some other pairings that you could do with Purple People Eater. So I am using that um, Night Sprites and then we're going in with this beautiful dark teal. Now if you wanted to have even a brighter Manny, Boss Lady is going to be another option for you, which is part of that neon collection. And then there's some other colors right here. I'm going to link a picture so you can see the other colors that I'm talking about. But the um, Wild Orchard and um, Spike, all the way to Spiked Punch, those are going to be really good colors that will complement um, Purple People Eater if you are looking for some more brightness to this. Also... Another color that would be really fun would be a thermal. And what is the color? Let me just, remember. yeah, Gypsy. Gypsy is going to be a really good color here. I'll put a picture right here so you can see it. Um, it is going to be a really awesome thermal changing dip powder that's going to complement and really bring out the pinks and the purples of Purple People Eater. So that's a couple options for you. So right now I'm doing a little bit of a like marbling kind of tie dye effect on this nail. So I went and started with that teal and then we went in with that purple. So I'm just kind of placing these dip powders um, anywhere on the nail just to kind of give it more of like a tie dye or galaxy kind of look. Now the reason why I chose um, that beautiful teal it was because I really wanted kind of like an alien kind of vibe to it. And I just thought that Malachite had like this really pretty undertone to it. Um, it has like a grayish greenish undertone that I thought it would give me more of like that alien vibe I was going for. But you could do so much stuff with Purple People Eater. And the color options are endless because this glitter is just cram packed full of so many color options. You are going to see that glitter here in action in just a few moments after we go ahead and finish up this tie-dye part of this mani and you will see here when i am brushing off and tapping off that extra powder i do do it away from the jar to make sure i'm not contaminating any of those other colors so the star of the show purple people eater it is stunning and it's even better in slow-mo but it is just so cram packed full of such goodness in here you can see there's those silvers there's like light pink there's light purple there's dark purple there's dark blue like a royal blue and there's teals there's even like a pop of red in here and there's even some white glitters and then those waffle shaped glitters are gonna give this mani like a really awesome textured look now this glitter right here would look really good with a matte finish as well because it has like that dimension in there with the waffle cut but this glitter, you can see here, it is just laid so flat to the nail. And I was completely shocked because I've tried some chunky glitters in the past. And, 
you can see there I dipped directly into the cupcake liner I did not pour over first and I still got these glitters to lay so flat and with that waffle texture I was a little worried that it was not gonna lay flat but I had no problems at all it is just melting into that dip liquids now you can use your gels as well just be careful when you are patting those glitters down that you are not disturbing that gel because it will move around, but I'm completely obsessed with this glitter if you have not figured that out already. So a couple more pairing options for Purple People Eater. If you really like those thermals, you could, we talked about pairing it with Gypsy, which was that beautiful pink and purple um, thermal changer. You could also do, if you wanted a pop of teal to really bring out the blues, this would be more of like a brighter teal, not this like darker, um, teal that we use today that it would be called teal me no secrets and that is a teal I'll put it right here a picture that is also a thermal change and it's really pretty and you cannot go wrong with this teal not only is it going to be perfect for this purple people eater it is also going to be really great for the summer and guess what it also glows in the dark and if you wanted to add um, a little bit of sparkle you could see that you could get um teal me no secrets you could also get it in a duo if you wanted to with that pairing glitter that you saw in the picture that was just another option but I really like those options for thermal I think a thermal changer with uh, purple people eater would be so pretty because you would really nail all the colors in this beautiful glitter but you can see here when I brush that off that you could really see those silver glitters in there I just really like how the silvers are in this glitter and then you can see here that we picked up a pop of red over all this is just a fun glitter so a couple other things that you could do with this Manny as well is that amethyst trio it has that really pretty light purple in there you could also pair this Manny with um, amethyst crystals and then you could use like grape uh, steel that would be another option if you really wanted to focus on all purple and you didn't want a bright option you could do um, more of like your traditional purples and that would really bring out the glitters in Purple People Eater as well. So I just thought it'd be kind of cool to give you a couple other options. And then if you really wanted a rich, vibrant blue, you could pair it with Blue Hawaiian, which I think would be phenomenal. It is um, a really pretty, vibrant blue. Or you could pair it with Blurple, which is obviously your purple and blue Um so I think all those colors would look great with this dip powder. Again, options are endless, especially when we're doing our nails at home. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and hand place some glitter. And I am using the Bling Precision Tool, which is by far my favorite precision tool. And I'm actually using the wax tip on this. I felt like for the look that I was going for in the placement, I felt like I could pick up more glitter with the wax tip of the precision tool versus um, using the thin cuticle cleanup part because I really wanted to focus on picking up um, more than one glitter at a time. You can see here it kind of just laid organically on the nail and I didn't really focus on picking up the same colors. I kind of just dipped it into the cupcake liner and kind of just picked up whatever um, I could with that wax tip to kind of get those glitters to lay on there and the colors just organically. But with this glitter, you could pick what colors you wanted to lay on the nail. Um, if you wanted to focus on more of those waffle shaped glitters, you could do that as well. But um, I really liked how that turned out with the wax tip. So for the thumbnail, I'm gonna go ahead and place some of those larger glitters on that nail there closer to the cuticle area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the dust brush that we're using since I am done dusting off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit of those finer glitters all over that nail and then since I wanted a little bit more glitter build up on here I am gonna dip directly into the cupcake to pick up even some more glitter and kind of give it more of like that full coverage look and then I'm gonna just tap all those down and you can see here that when we are tapping down that how flat that these glitters are laying and they're very easy to work with so you're gonna be able to do a lot of different nail art if you love like hand placing 
uh, glitters to make them like look like they're lining up exactly. These glitters are gonna be very easy to achieve that and there's gonna be tons of different colors in here that you could work with. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some more of those smaller shape glitters. So this glitter right here, it's a mixture of fine smaller glitters and then those regular hexagon glitters. Um, and I just placed that on the thumb there and I did the pinky off camera. Now I did the filing and encapsulation off camera as well to save time, but you could see here that before we put that gel polish on, how awesome this Manny would look with a matte finish as well because that textured glitter really stands out when it's a matte finish. And I just think that this Manny would look really pretty with a matte finish as well. I almost debated on making this whole Manny matte, but check out that shine. It is gorgeous. So I really do like how this Manny turned out. I think that tie dye is super fun and pretty. And look at that pop of red in that chunky glitter. It is really pretty. And I just love how this glitter is. It's very unique and different. And it complements so many different colors. This is definitely a staple chunky glitter that you need in your collection because you can use it with so many different colors. So I hope you liked today's video when I talked about different pairings you could do. Just something different and to change it up. And maybe there were some colors that you did not know that Bling Galleria had. Um, and I just really do love all the colors that Bling Galleria has to offer. I feel like there are just so many varieties and the quality is definitely there. That's why I love doing um, Bling Galleria manis and sharing videos with you on Saturdays featuring Bling Galleria because I just feel like the dip powders from the solids to the shimmers to the chunky glitters to the foils are just everything. Um, and you can just do, like I said, so many different things. So I hope you enjoyed this style video and I will see you in the next upload.